Well, the most common method of paying a lawyer is by the hour, and that means by a billable hour, an hour where the lawyer is actually advancing your case. And those rates, they vary as between lawyer to lawyer, so shop around. It could very well be it's neither the most expensive lawyer nor the cheapest lawyer that's the best fit for you. Generally speaking, you would give the lawyer a retainer. That amount of money is put in a trust account and the lawyer can't touch it until such time as they do work for you and bill you and then they can withdraw. Many lawyers will talk about financing plans, payment plans. Most lawyers will work with their clients in terms of paying by the hour. In criminal law in particular, there is a trend to quote on a bulk basis whereby you tell the client, I'll get you through your trial for this amount of money. Compare that with the hourly rate. Usually you'll be given a choice to see what is in your best interest in terms of payment. Finally, there's a contingency plan, which is not available in criminal law nor family law and is usually around personal injury cases. This is where a lawyer doesn't get paid until you get paid, but takes a pretty hefty percentage of the amount awarded to you. Generally speaking, lawyers don't take contingencies unless they really do know that there's a payday at the end of the case.